In our last healthy video, I made the promise that I was going to get shredded by July 4th, and we're still on. But I gotta make a gourmet burrito bowl for this price. That is but cheaper. So today we're making a gourmet burrito bowl, or just a burrito bowl, whatever you wanna call it. I say it's gourmet because we're actually cooking it and putting effort in it. Look, I don't need to explain to you what a burrito bowl is. This is a complete meal in one, and it's not that hard. So with all that being said, let's make this, shall we? Look, let's be honest, this isn't about better episode, but Chipotle is getting expensive. So I looked at the schematics and scrutinized each element of the burrito bowl. The rice, the beans, the meat, and all the other toppings, distilling them down into their bare necessities. Not only are we breaking down this price, but we're also keeping this incredibly healthy, with a full calorie breakdown at the end. First, let's talk pickled red onion. It's only four ingredients, but one giant leap into the gourmet category at least a little bit very easy get yourself half a red onion and yes you will use the other half in a different part of this video now that's economical brother slice that bad boy thin on a mandolin or with a knife place the slices in a large heat proof jar or container then in a medium saucepan add one cup or 240 milliliters of water one cup or 240 milliliters of white distilled vinegar and one tablespoon or 10 grams of salt place it over medium high heat bring it to a boil and then immediately pour your hot liquid over your red onion making sure the onion stays submerged then just sit at room temp until completely cool. They will turn pink, and it's kind of cute. Moving on, rice. You can make me say it again. Three cups or 600 grams of white rice, and yes, you're gonna rinse your rice of its starch until the water runs clear. Then you're gonna pop it in a rice cooker. I know it's about cheaper, and you might not have a rice cooker, but listen, at some point you gotta prioritize. A car? Nah. A rice cooker? Now you've got it! Anyway, combine that with equal parts rice and water in the rice cooker, close the lid, and turn it on. While that's cooking, on to the next. Chicken. First, in a medium-sized bowl, empty the juice from one can of chipotle peppers in adobo please fight the urge to go to the comments and tell me oh there's poopy on his hands very childish of you okay anyway remove the peppers from the can finally chop them and add them to the bowl along with two and a half teaspoons or eight grams of kosher salt add four cloves of garlic grated mix it together until thoroughly combined and then you'll need six boneless and skinless chicken thighs look i know it's not perfectly macro friendly but it's permissible and the calories are right around here per chicken thigh i'm still on my get shredded adventure okay i haven't forgotten anyway pop those into a bowl toss to go thoroughly and let it sit for at least 30 minutes in the fridge or up to overnight. Let's knock out these black beans. Normally I don't use canned, but it's at an easy one and done price point. So you're gonna use a can of black beans. Very sorry about that. Medium sized pot, set over medium heat. Add in just enough vegetable oil, but ideally pan spray if you wanna keep those calories low. Add in one diced white onion, salt to taste, one serrano chili thinly sliced, and one Roma tomato rough chopped. Saute that for two to three minutes or until the onion begins to soften. Add in one can of black beans that have been drained. Then add in one cup of 240 milliliters of chicken stock. You know, like good chicken stock. None of that wah wah bullshit. Then season to taste with salt. Bring that to a boil, then reduce to low and simmer until the vegetables are softened and the stock is reduced by about 25%. Cut off the heat and finally stir in four cloves of finely chopped garlic. Done. The beans come out at around 90 calories per serving. More on that later. Now, we know the chipotle corn relish and it could be so much better if it wasn't just charred corn relish and instead was charred corn relish. All you gotta do is place four corn on the cob directly over an open flame or a grill and let it sit until all sides are lightly charred, about one to two minutes per side. Now once that's done, pop two jalapenos directly over the flame, and this time char the whole god dang thing. I mean, you want that little paper looking charred. Then wipe off the char using paper towel, remove the seeds, if you don't want it too spicy, give your jalapenos a nice dice, add the two medium sized bowl, then remove the kernels from all of your cobs. Add to a bowl, and remember that other half of the red onion? It's time for a money-saving move. One ingredient in two different components of the meal. One is raw and one is pickled. I mean, come on, we're in technique mode right now. Anyway, give that other half of the red onion a nice dice and add that to your bowl. Finally, add two and a half tablespoons or six grams of finely chopped cilantro, salt and pepper to taste, and one to two tablespoons or 10 to 20 grams of white distilled vinegar. Stir until combined, and well, that's it, look at that. Corn relish clocking in at around 72 calories per serving. We're looking good so far. And now it's time to wrap it all up up. Listen, I did make a spicy garlic mayo for those of you who are not on a diet, so it is optional, but if you're on a diet like me, wah, 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 uh, you won't be including this. Small bowl. One cup or 200 grams of mayonnaise, half a teaspoon or two grams of onion powder, eight cloves of garlic grated, season to taste with salt, three and a half tablespoons or 42 grams of hot sauce, pick something you like, okay, and whisk until combined. Boom. That's a spicy meat bowl, except it's uh, mayonnaise. Now, to wrap up your chicken, you'll simply heat up a grill pan or a regular pan or a grill or whatever over medium high, grease that bad boy up with cooking spray, 
or vegetable oil and sear your chicken for two to three minutes per side. Then either lower the heat to medium and continuously flip until your chicken is done, or you can finish it in a 375 degree oven for 15 minutes. But either way, just make sure that internal temperature is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Chicken coming in at 210 calories per serving, nice and easy. If you want the calories lower, then stick with pan spray when you're searing it. Now for the rice to be macro friendly, you just pop it out and you serve it right away. Again, an alternative if you don't give a shit what the calories or the fat or the carbohydrates are, add two and a half tablespoons or six grams of finely chopped cilantro. Then you can add two tablespoons or 28 grams of unsalted butter, the zest from one lime, and the juice from said same lime that you just zested mixed together until well incorporated, and that's your rice. Without the butter, you're looking at 105 calories per serving, and I also would like to take this time to argue that white rice is superior to brown rice in every single possible scenario. Don't ask. White rice is better. Now we assemble. First off, uh, it's a rice bowl, so put a bowl down. Rice in your bottom. Dice your chicken up, add it to the bowl, followed by your corn relish. Then your pickled red onion, optionally some finely grated Monterey Jack cheese. Again, if it's macro friendly, you don't add that, brother. Fresh cilantro, since we already have it. Optionally, your spicy mayo. Oh, and don't forget the beans like I did. You know, I get it, they're canned, but they're still worthy of a little bit of love here. And look, it's beautiful, but remember, our price breakdown. Here's what you need for the cilantro rice. The chipotle spiced chicken thighs. The corn relish. The pickled red onion. The black beans. And if you don't care about the macros, here's what you need for the spicy garlic mayo. And of course, other toppings. If you have a good mix of ingredients on hand, it's gonna cost you around this price. All in. Hang on. If you don't have any of the ingredients, then it's gonna cost you this. Again, all in. But as usual, you divide that by six servings, and you end up with a cost that is more reasonable than anywhere else you're going to get a bowl. And it's healthy too, so what does that mean? You get an average of 488 calories, 36 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbohydrates, and 18 grams of fat per bowl. It's macro-friendly if I ever seen anything. I know Nor's watching this with a big old smile and his picks pop. But we're only missing one thing, the taste test. Woo! Burrito bowl. So the mayo, completely optional if you're on a diet like me. Point is, this totals up to this price with this caloric intake. Not bad. Obviously, you can do chicken breast, more protein, you can eat more and less fat. I mean, it's a burrito bowl. What the hell do you want me to say? The beans are excellent. A little bit of spice, garlicky. The tomato just kind of refreshes it up a little bit. It's nice. Now the corn, I'm gonna dig around this mayo because it's not macro friendly for me. Mm. This is the key. You mix all this up, you get all of these flavors, but the thing that brings it all together is this lightly spicy, sweet, crunchy relish that not only belongs in there, but makes it the bowl that it should be. You wanna make a burrito bowl that's unforgettable and still keeps you on diet for the goddamn new year? Then this is the bowl for you. But you wanna know what else is the bowl for you? B-roll.